this amazing, awesome, super dependent conference. Um, I just want to quickly introduce myself. My name is Diane Kovats, and I'm the executive director of ISCB. And I am part of the organization that helps put this amazing conference on through the help of our many, many volunteers. And I have the pleasure today to introduce you to one of our vice presidents, Dr. Terry Gastrelin, who will tell you a little bit about ISCB, our programs and our services, and how you can get involved. I do know that um, about 85% of you are members, so thank you so much for your membership and your support. So we're not going to tell you about the benefits of ISCB today. We're actually going to talk to you a little bit about our programs and how you can become engaged in the society and also share some stories from the road. Um, we're calling it the ISCB journey. So Terry, if you could please join me. Thank you, Diane. Um, so I thought about what might be something nice to convey to you all uh, this morning and in the introductory remarks. So the very first thing I want to say is that ISCB is delighted to be co-sponsoring um, meetings like the Regulatory Genomics in the Dream. Um, you all are a community within a community that has grown over the years, and it's really neat to be able to have folded, a bit, I guess two years ago, the regulatory genomics into the suite of conferences of ISCB. But what I really wanted to talk about was how much fun it is to be a part of ISCB. Um, in 1997, we didn't have a society. There were about, we, we broke the number 300 the year before at the ISMB meeting. We had 297 people. And in Halkidiki, Greece, we broke 300. And that was where we decided, we as a group, the 300 of us who were there, hey, we should knit ourselves together and be a society. And about 10 years ago, um, I became engaged with the society as a vice president. I was voted in. I thought, well, I can help to organize things. And what that's turned into is Tuesday morning phone calls where we have people calling in um, who are helping to knit together this community of people, calling in from Israel, from Germany, basically several different places in Europe, um, the US, and Asia and people who are involved from the society on the various subcommittees and task forces have the, the opportunity to get onto calls like that and be meeting for a purposeful reason with other bioinformatics people from all over the world. It's really a lot of fun. So the society has um, gelled into an amazing international group of people yeah, as I said, we're founded in 1997 as we sat there by the beach in Halkidiki, Greece, and decided we really have to formalize ourselves, in part to simply label our field so that we could nurture each other as scientists. And as you can see from the graphics, there are members from all over. The largest proportion of members are North America and then Europe, but we're growing and growing in international membership. Um, a big point of the society is networking, and we see various people here at some of our different conferences, but the, the main point is that within the last year, for example, over 3,000 people have come together in forums like this or at ISMB and talked with each other, and that's the most important thing that can happen. Um, we teach, we're trying to develop materials, so for those of us who are professors like me, I don't have to go and make up my course every single year and try to figure out what's the latest stuff. Again, I've got a network of people I can tap into. We exchange slides. We talk about what's important to teach. We talk about what's changed. And that's really important because I get evaluated on research more than on teaching. And I care about my teaching. So the society helps with that. Collaboration. So. We all meet each other at the meetings, and you know the posters at ISMB are an amazing way to figure out what people are doing now that is going to be published later. A very important part of the society is the student council. So we have nurtured the students and included them. We have a student member of the board of directors of the society. The board is made up of people who are willing to tolerate coming to ISMB two days early and spend a day and a half in board meetings thinking about the issues that are involved in running a society. Um, and we rotate through that. 
So the students are represented on the board and the students are driving a lot of the activity. Um, we have our elected officers. I'm down here in the lower left corner. Michal is from um, Israel, Christine from London, Tom Langauer and Burkhard from Germany, Alfonso from Spain, Reinhard, who was a co-founder of Lion when he came out of Yenviel Heidelberg so long ago. Um, he's in Luxembourg now. Scott Markle, who's here in um, San Diego. He's our, our single industry member of our executive committee. And then we have our board of directors. Um, Fran LeWitter, who's in the middle, is spearheading a lot in the educational materials that I talked about. And I'll leave this slide up as I say a little bit more. Um, for me, being a computer science PhD, doing my research in computational biology and genomics, asking questions in human genetics and in ocean environments, my home department is marine biology. And UCSD, although it has an interdisciplinary program in bioinformatics at the undergraduate level and the graduate level, we're interdisciplinary as a program. Our students don't really have a home base, and I'm the only one of me in the marine biology department. So as our 15 professors come together, it helps to have a society in the background as an identity. And for me, being part of this international community and reaching out, our Tuesday morning phone calls on the executive committee, our finance phone calls to try to figure out, you know, how do we invest what little money we have as a society so that we can make sure that in years where the revenue is a little lean, we can still keep our three administrators who keep the society running. Um, so it, it's, it's an interesting bootstrap operation. Um, it's lean and mean, and I think it's very important for our community as we continue to try to define ourselves. So we have different ways to be involved. Um, most important of all is to become a member, to set up your account on the website, and what we're trying to push right now are, is the notion of virtual communities, people being able to use blogs, community use, news, and communities of special interest, kind of like SIGs in ACM, to get together and talk to each other on a regular basis, more an organizing principle than anything else. Um, we have our upcoming conferences. We're here right now, and ISMB will be in Dublin this summer. I'm certainly going to be there. And one of the biggest pieces of news about ISMB in Dublin is that Michael Levitt is going to come and speak to his home community, us, all of us. So that's very exciting. And our other keynote speakers are some incredible people. We have Eileen Furlong from EMBL, Ken Wolf, who's coming from Dublin. He's a local. And you can go to www.iscb.org to learn more. So I'll stop with that. And I think our next bit on the agenda is thanking all the folks here who have helped make this meeting happen. Thank you, Terry. And, and Terry has said it best that we would not survive as an association and a society without the hundreds. And when I say hundreds, I really do mean hundreds, almost thousands of people who volunteer their time unpaid to help um, everything move forward. So I want to just take a few moments to recognize some of the key players who have really been instrumental in producing this conference and making everything that you have seen over the last two days and the continuing in the next two days um, what it is. But before I do that, I do want to give a personal thank you to our sponsor, Sanofi, Agilent Technologies, the Cytoscape Community, IBM Research, Magnet, the National Cancer Institute, and NRNB for your generous donations and your support for making this conference happen. So with that, I'd now like to um, thank our conference chairs, and I'll start with Andrea Califano from Columbia University. If you could please come up and accept our small gift of appreciation. And Manolis Kellis from MIT. Gustavo Stolovitsky. Yeah. 
our two die-hard program chairs, Christina Leslie and Lonnie Welch. And the man behind the promotions, outside of Steven, who does our amazing logistics, Chris Williams. So these are the six main people behind this conference that with, without their dedication, their countless hours, I don't know how many hours you, Christina and Lonnie spent on that program, but thank you so much. And also to everyone out there who did participate as our reviewers, thank you. We really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you, all guys. Thank you, Diane. And to paraphrase uh, Jet Blue, if it wasn't for you guys, we'd just be uh, flying a bunch of empty seats around. So thank you all for coming. <laughs> all right. So, so now I think I get to turn it over to Andrea to introduce this morning's keynote speaker. <laughs> 